Hello everyone, welcome back to Smith's Garage. In today's episode, in today's episode, I'm gonna tell you what I've done to the truck up to this point, what I plan on doing to the truck in the next couple steps, and then I'm probably gonna start taking the front end of the truck apart. So, I know you're probably looking at this and being like, wow, what a mess. You really screwed that up. And I have a tendency to agree with you. So to explain what's going on here, uh, I'm gonna back up and explain to you where it started. I knew pretty early on I wanted to lower it. So in order to establish what I wanted my height to be at and how to plan around the height, I just took a grinder to cut all the leaf springs out of the truck. And with leaf springs off, you could take the axles out and the wheels out, everything out. That was the only way of getting it low to the ground. So with all the axles out, I uh, bought some casters and I screwed these casters it straight to the frame. So then when I t uh, let the jacks down, it set the truck really low to the ground. I think the height at the time was like five inches off the ground. And that's probably around where my end goal height is gonna be. So now that I had established that height, which was important, I was able to look at my wheel tubs and my space that I had to figure out what my rim sizing was gonna be, which is really important. And I'm planning a lot around my rim size because I want the wheels to fit really well in the truck. So in the front, I'm gonna do a 20 inch diameter rim uh, 10 inches wide and in the back I'm going to do is also a 20 inch diameter rim, but 12 inches wide and Amazingly the wheel tubs on the truck front and back they can fit that which is pretty incredible I was not expecting that to be like that um, And once I established how I wanted the height uh, What I needed to cut out and all that I just got to work so as you can see I took the box off the truck and the floor in here was completely mangled, so I cut all of it out. <laughs> so, I know that this looks crazy, and, well, it is pretty crazy. So I want to explain to you the method to my madness, and what my goal is with the box of this truck, because it's pretty complicated, and really hard to picture, and I know I haven't really explained it much. So, what my plan is to do, what I want to do, is I want to shorten the box. So I'm probably going to cut 10 inches out right here and then another 8 inches down here. The reason why those specific numbers and those weird areas is because this was a long box truck and in order for it to be a short box wheelbase, the short box wheelbase was 8 inches shorter than the long box, which is why I want to take 8 inches out in front of the back wheels. So that brings it to the normal wheelbase. And then the 10 inches out in the very back is actually gonna make it a little longer than the normal short box. But that's because I think the short box looks a little bit too short. So I'm trying to find that happy medium. And as to why these specific areas, there's a swept line down this truck and it gradually goes down, which makes it very difficult to shorten it and take sections out with the alignment of this line being nice still. So that's why I'm hoping by taking it out of the very back, I can just bring it in. And then a middle section here, I can also just bring in and make it look nice. Along with cutting those two sections out, the top along here is like super mangled. And I also don't know if I want the stake pockets in the end. So I'm actually gonna cut right here, all the way along the entire thing and make a new piece entirely that comes up flat, hooks under, and I'm gonna weld it on to the heat. Okay, now that I wasn't rudely interrupted by the heat. As I was saying, new piece up here, weld it all along. It's gonna remove the stake pockets and it's gonna fix all these dents and holes along the top. So that'll clean it up a lot. Now, looking at the inside of the box, you're gonna see that, as I said, cut out everything in here. Looks pretty ugly. The floor along here was already pretty mangled, very bumpy, bunch of holes in it, rusted through in a couple spots. I knew I wasn't gonna use it anyways. So what the plan is, is fix up these original wheel tubs because 
for some really weird reason, the sides of this box are just single wall and not double wall, and these wheel tubs were welded directly onto the outside wall. And they're really big wheel tubs, so I don't want to go through all the effort of taking them off and making newer, nicer ones when these are already a big enough size to fit the big wheels that I want to get in here. So I'm going to keep these, and I'm going to keep the lower section of this ca uh, the cab rail, I guess you call it. But I need to remake the top bar because it's also been hit out into the cab. So if I cut the top bar off, I can straighten that panel, put a new bar in, and then that'll straighten that all up really nice. So the plan is that I, I'm leaning into the pro touring aspect of the truck. So I'm gonna leave it open along the middle. And then I'm gonna have the side, I'm gonna have a, rails, a rail that goes along here. So this will be covered here, and this will be covered here but it'll be exposed frame in the middle with the axle and it'll look nice because I'm planning on making a custom frame. And then I'll have a rail that'll come along here and then the fuel cell is gonna be in the back right there. And on top of that, I'm also gonna be putting a cage in the truck. So I'll have some tubes coming off the back of the cab and they'll come down into the, the frame, which will look super cool. Um, one of the problems I'm running into right now is with how low I want the truck, the frame rails are going to have to come up and then across and then down. So that's not the problem. The problem is that I'm going to have to cut these wheel tubs up in the middle to fit the axle going through and have the articulation that I want and the geometry that I want. And cutting it will be easy, but it will be a raw edge and I want to maybe cut a piece that has a hem up and in on it and put that in there so that it'll give it some rigidity. Because the whole worry I have with doing this is keeping the box rigid while also having the middle completely gone, which is going to be a bit of a challenge. But if I go over to the frame here, I can show you what my plan is to keep it in the shape that we need. So this is the original frame of the truck. And so far, so far, what the plan is, is I'm gonna cut the frame up here, like maybe right about here. And if I cut it there, I'm gonna remake the frame from there back. I know I said full custom frame, but so far the frame actually looks to be in really good shape. And it has some weird bends in it going forward. And the front half looks nice. So I'm gonna keep that, but I'm gonna remake from there back. So then when it's exposed in the box, it'll still look nice. But if I cut it there, I'm going to remake some two channels that come here. They'll come up, flat, down, and over. And traditionally, when you have the box of a truck, you usually have these rails that go across that are welded to the box. Then that's what bolts down onto your chassis. That's what keeps the rigidity of the box. What I'm going to do instead is instead of having rails that are on the bottom of the box, I'm going to most likely make some tabs that go on the sides of these frame rails. They'll come up a little and then out. And then those will bolt um, up, well, the box will bolt down onto those. So there'll be nothing going across the middle, no supports running across the box, but there'll be supports along the chassis to hold the box. So that'll clean up that middle area to keep it looking nice and still keep this shape without warping it or flexing it, which is is a big concern, but I'm hoping it'll all work out. So that's the plan with the box area of the truck, but if you come with me up to the front. So in front of the truck here, all I'm doing is stripping everything out and taking everything off because I want to get it all off the frame because we want to send the frame out to get sandblasted. I've already worked on taking everything out on the inside, and to my surprise, the entire dash was able to unbolt and come out, which maybe to some people is not that surprising, but it's make, gonna make it way easier to work on, because as you know, I wanna do a roll cage, and if the dash can come out, now I can work on this roll cage and integrate it a lot more seamlessly and have it look nice. The tunnel cover also, the tunnel, tunnel cover also comes out, which is, I know I've said that already, but it's just weird to me. So keep thinking about it. But anyways, I already stripped out everything out of the engine bay as well. So all that's really left is, since I figured out the wheel diameters that I want, 
is literally to take everything off the front of the truck to make it so it's only the cab sitting on here. And then once I get some help, we can get the cow off of here too. So just gonna get to work on that.